Hey folks, Sega Sonic fan here. Today I'm just showing off uh, my new board that I'm going to put up for sale soon. And this does a lot of nice things. Um, and it's very customizable, depending on what you hobbyists out there want to do. The idea behind this was to create a multi-use DIY board for projects that I end up rebuilding a lot of the same circuits over and over again. Uh, these are common circuits that are used in almost everything I modify or repair or build. And so uh, this board, I can make a lot of these now and save myself a lot of work and also have some really quality um, uh, miniature uh, boards that do nice things that I need. So the first thing that this does is it is a soft start latch. And there's actually four of these on here. And so that's really nice if you want to just start something with the push of a button instead of having a switch, a mechanical switch that will fail over time. Uh, it's very useful and, and very uh, also saves power because it's very low power consumption and uh, that's the first thing all the all this all the inputs to that by the way are all debounced so there's four debounced inputs as well which is very nice and it also features uh, a multiplexer you can put in a 744053 or an upgraded multiplexer that has a lower on resistance meaning that there's less resistance between the, the things you're switching uh, for those that don't know, a multiplexer is used, this is an analog multiplexer, so it's used for switching signals. It's basically like a bus where you can switch stuff around. Um, for example, say you have an audio deck and you have two audio inputs and you want to switch between them, say your microphone and your MP3 player. Now you can do it with this board with the push of a button using this multiplexer and these outputs right here. You just wire up your audio inputs, outputs, uh, wire up 5 volts and just have a push of a button to do that. Uh, so it's very good for video and audio signal switching, and it can also do digital signal switching as well. Uh, on the back, you also have a P-channel MOSFET, which uh, can tolerate up to 30 volts for the ones that I've designed for this. However, you can get higher voltage ones because there's a TO263 package footprint there as well. So you can switch uh, very high voltage and high current loads with this board as well using the same soft start circuitry. Finally, there is both an A-stable multi-vibrator for a clock pulse, if you need that for anything, as well as a PWM uh, pulse with modulation output, which can be used to adjust the speed of motors and the dimming of lights. I'm using this specifically um, right now for this light that I got off of eBay. It's a very nice light. It's got a bendable neck and a diffused um, LED output, white LED. But if I uh, plug it in, it turns on, but that's it. I have no way to turn this off if it's plugged into a laptop or a wall wart or whatever. I just have to keep unplugging and plugging it back in, which wears out the jack and is annoying. I also have no way to dim it. So this circuit will actually accomplish both those things quite easily because it's one of the things uh, that's just a, that it's designed to do. So let's see if I turn this on here. You'll see the light turns on. And then I have a potentiometer. You can rig up your own externally, of course. And now I can control both this fan and the brightness of this LED. I'm actually powering this all off of this uh, external USB power supply right now. This is a 5 volt fan, uh, or sorry, 12 volt fan. It would actually work a lot better with a 5 volt fan since I'm powering this off USB. But since I don't need it to go full speed, it'll work just fine. And so now you have yourself a really nice reading light that can be dimmed very easily at night as well as a cooling fan. You can hook these up separately, of course, to do other things you might want to do. So that's it for now. I'm going to do a little, uh, a little more testing with this to make sure it's all ready to go. And I'll post back here when it's uh, ready for purchase. And I uh, hope you have fun hacking. And let me know if you're interested uh, in this kind of stuff. I can do more of this with other boards and other designs. Um, and you can check out my website, Sega Sonic Fan Designs. It's also printed right there on the board. And that's at uh, segasonicfan.wixsite, W-I-X-S-I-T-E dot com slash retro. Uh, you can find it uh, posted on my channel here as well. Thanks for looking. This is Sega Sonic Fan, signing out.